Thanks, Jason. So as we know, after Cyber Monday comes Giving Tuesday, and there are numerous ways to give all around Halton today. One of the ways that you might donate is to Bikes for Kids. Now, Bikes for Kids was started in 2004 by Greg Pace, who bought two brand new bicycles and donated them to the Children's Aid Foundation. Now, 17 years later, he's helped give the Children's Aid Foundation and the children they support more than a thousand bicycles. This year, the need is greater than ever. Children's Aid were very good. They said, you know, we get a lot of gifts for kids. This is after I gave those two bikes. And they said, so we actually need gifts for kids that are in that 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 range. And so now when we do our bikes, um, we do probably less than a third are little kids' bikes, but a good majority of them are for kids that are 12 to 16 years. Because they use them for a whole bunch of things, recreation, fitness, getting to jobs. I mean, one, one girl does it to ride beside her dad when he runs, that kind of thing. So it's really kind of, kind of nice. So this year challenged in a bunch of ways. Um, obviously coronavirus and then um, inflation, so pricing, and then um, just availability supply chain issues. But thanks to our partners with this, which is Canadian Tire and Brad, um, as you can see behind me, um, He's done a great job in making sure he has inventory for the program. And so this year we have a request for about 125 bikes, which is substantially more than last year. Last year was about 94. Um, so we're just kind of working to build our, our um, coffers so that we have enough to, to make sure that none of these kids go without a gift for Christmas. Animal lovers will be happy to know that the Oakville Milton Humane Society's parking lot was busy today with volunteers collecting food for their pet food bank. Our amazing volunteers have packaged 10,000 meals for our community's animals, which is available at human food banks here um, in Oakville and Milton. We know that people would rather um, go hungry than have their animals go hungry. Um, and it's, it's the mental bond between animal and human is clearly documented, and especially during the pandemic, um, we need to support our community's animals and the people that love them even more. So it's very important that we're feeding animals and pets at the same time as people are also eating. If somebody wanted to support further today on Giving Tuesday, how would they do that? Well, um, I'm so happy you asked that. You can go to omhs.ca and um, click Donate Now. We would love um, the gifts from the community. They're being matched today by a very generous donor um, till midnight, so that would be amazing. There's a Christmas tree shortage this year. My last stop today was with the Burlington Student Theatre Stars, who you can support by picking up a live tree. We're the uh, volunteer and parent support group for the Burlington Student Theatre, so we help raise money for student theatre through various things, like flying Christmas trees. This is one of our biggest fundraisers that we do uh, each year, and um, one that we've been able to do through COVID, which is great. The money goes towards um, improvements that uh, student theatre might like to do, so things like our sound equipment, our lighting equipment, we've used it to put in bleachers for our um, rehearsal centre, uh, we also use it as honorariums, so when we have special guests in to coach the kids or uh, musicians, we use the money towards that. We're open every, every weeknight from 6 to 9 p.m. We're open on Saturdays from 9 to 6 p.m. and on Sundays from 10 to 5 p.m. Tell me a little bit about what it's meant to your child to be a part of Burlington Student Theatre and what people on Giving Tuesday might be helping support. Oh my goodness, well, I will try not to get weepy about it just because uh, student theatre has been such a huge part of our daughter's life, especially during COVID. Um, the way that they carried on through COVID was amazing, keeping these kids active um, online, doing all of their productions really. Those kids lost a lot with COVID and um, student theatre was really able to pull it together. <laughs> and. Uh, they're, it's just fabulous. She loves being part of it. They're such a supportive group. Uh, really just a wonderful group of kids to be with and uh, lets the kids be their own person and shine. So if you're able, today why not make a donation? You can help put a bicycle under a deserving child's Christmas tree, help feed a local pet, or even just support the local arts. There are numerous ways to give. You can find them all on givingtuesday.ca under the Halton Gives page. And with that, I'll throw it back to you in the studio.